Hey guys, so um, I just want to correct a mistake that I made uh, in uh, the gaming and benchmark and also two of the speed tests that I did uh, for this phone, uh, especially in terms of benchmark. Um, that was actually uh, related to the um, power saving mode. So I'm just going to quickly show you here that it says smart. So first of all, uh, by default, this phone is on smart mode. Uh, which is basically uh, this uh, the phone will try to conserve as much battery as possible so uh, basically it's not fair to run benchmarks on this mode when I'm comparing with other phones um, and also of course in terms of gaming uh, but uh, yeah uh, in terms of gaming especially it, it performed really well uh, which is really good if you want to you know do the gaming and also conserve battery but yeah if I'm comparing it to other phones like iPhone 6s and the Note 5 I should have to keep it on the performance mode uh, so uh, this is was the mis mistake and I want to apologize and I really don't want to misguide anyone so yeah we're, we're just gonna run the benchmarks again and see how much uh, gains that we will going to get uh, by having it on the uh, performance mode so just to look at the specification again this is the 5.1.1 uh, lollipop and 1.52 uh, gigahertz uh, cpu speed um, 935 current octa-core chipset uh, at uh, some websites you will see its clock speed written at 2.2 gigahertz but it's not that so according to geekbench application it's 1.2 gigahertz so yeah i'm just gonna quickly run the benchmark and we will just wait a little bit f uh, for this to just done and I'm just gonna zoom in also so um, I think uh, we will not going to get like major major improvement but it will be a you know more um, fair test uh, previously we were getting like 3500 or uh, 3300 something multi-core and 925 something single core um, when I did uh, the test in the gaming and also the comparison with Note 5 and the iPhone 6s so let's see how much improvement we will get in those terms almost done uploading results Wow um, as you can see we don't have any massive gains in single core score but a lot of gains in the in the multi-core section you can see uh, from 3000 something to 4058 that is really nice um, yeah you can see how it is now being compared um, to phones like this uh, these are the older phones listed here but it's still not up to the level of the Note 5 Note 5 scores around 5000 something uh, but yeah definitely these are the correct scores of the uh, Huawei Mate S and uh, yeah that's that uh, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video and again I apologize and uh, yeah another speed test I will be uh, having it on the performance mode. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one Make sure you click the subscribe button down below for future videos. Peace out